Good day, morning, holy brothers and sisters, for the 21st of Shabbat in the Kitzur Lukuti Maharan. Today's lesson will be called Small Steps. This is the explanation of what the Tana related. A cedar tree fell in our vicinity. It was so large that 16 wagons passed over it at its sharp point. Bechorus 57b. The explanation for this is as follows. It is known that a true tzaddik is called a cedar in Lebanon, to heal him 92.13, and he serves God with great attachment and intellect. And even when this tzaddik falls to a lower level, the level on which he is now is still an extremely high one compared with the rest of tzaddikim. This is the meaning of a cedar tree fell in our vicinity, namely that the true tzaddik fell in his level of comprehension of God, who is called the place of the world. And even though this tzaddik's level is still very great, for him it represents a fall. Here the Tana speaks in praise of the tzaddik of the general this tzaddik is as ashamed of his level as if he had committed a sin, because for this tzaddik being at this lower level is considered a fall, and he then repents for this as if he had actually sinned. Consequently, this tzaddik feels tremendous shame, which is the light of the tefillin, and his intellect and mental faculties are thereby sharpened even more. Thus he gains new and greater recognition and awareness in his conception of God. Small step fallings are fatal when wondering how high holiness can be corrected. The explanation of the second part of what the Tana related, that 16 wagons passed over it at its sharp point, is as follows. The renewal of his intellect through Torah study, that is, which the tzaddik received through Torah study, is alluded to by the number 16. For the Torah is called 16 in that this number is associated with the Torah's root, which is the tablets, received by Moshe at Har Sinai, since the tablets contained the Ten Commandments and their measurements were six handbreadths long by six handbreadths wide. Baba Basra 14a. The phrase passed over Avru suggests the idea of revelation, as it is written, God passed over Ve'avar to smite Egypt, Shmos 12.23 which Unkelis translates as God was revealed. Thus, 16 wagons, Kina wrote, passed over it at its sharp point, alludes to the idea that by sharpening and renewing the intellect that the Tzaddik received from the Torah, which is called 16, the shining Kerun of the skin of the face is revealed. The shining of the skin of the face is the shame that the Tzaddik feels, and shame is an aspect of the Tefillin. He then feels even more shame as he gains new recognition of the greatness of the Creator. All this applies to every person as well. By renewing the intellect in Torah study, a person thereby reaches a greater recognition of God's greatness and feels greater shame over his sins. This is the essence of repentance. Thus does one merit the light of the tefillin, which is the concept of the tree of life. Real repentance shines on shame to force feelings. Each person must extend the holiness of Shabbos, which is the concept of shame as the letters of the word Bereshus in the beginning can be transposed to spell Yare Boshas, fear shame, and Yare Shabbos, fear Shabbos. Fear and the light of the tefillin to sanctify the other six days of the week. As we find in the Mechilta, remember the Shabbos day, Shemos 28. Remember it from the first day of the week, Mechilta Yisro 7. To the same degree that a person infuses the six weekdays with holiness, so is the impurity of the primordial snake, the end of all flesh which is associated with the raging storm wind, dispelled. In turn, speech ascends to its source. By sanctifying the six weekdays through the 39 types of labor, which are the 39 curses brought on by the impurity of the snake, it will seem to you during the six weekdays as if now too is my holy day, i.e. Shabbos. Facing fear hires holiness and ravishes raging wild winds. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.